the Alamo, in the, um, the back of the Alamo, where we do our reenacting. And so I'm making a pomander ball. And these were made in the 1800s. They're Victorian. And uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm tying two pieces of ribbon around an orange. I've already put a few cloves in here. Um, and I will explain to you how I put the cloves in. So what we do is we just keep tying the ribbon in two places so that you've got four quadrants to work in. And then I'll go back and tie those later. So I'm going to go ahead and you use a pin or a needle or a nail. This is actually a nail. And you just pop the little holes in between the ribbons. And then you would take your clothes. And you can do any pattern you want. Since I started this one in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and do a circle through the middle. And then I'll go back and do by the ribbons. But it's very simple, very fast. And then I'm going to do, just to show you how it would look with the ribbons. I didn't get my ribbon tied tight enough. Let me go back. Okay, so the pomander ball, what I'm making them for today is a Christmas decoration, a Christmas ornament. You could do bowls of them. You can hang them on the trees. The combination of the pine scent and the oranges and spice is very Christmas smelling. But they also use these when they would go visiting uh, sick people. They would put them in the sick, sick people's rooms because they believe that breathing this air would keep them from getting sick. So the spices and the orange was sort of a medicinal smell. I'm just locking the little ribbon in back here to hold it in place. If I was doing this at home, I'd probably put a straight pin in it.